This tutorial will tell you what every item on the Miku Miku Dance interface does. Let's start at the file drop-down list. New, open, save, and save as are well known by everyone, so let's learn about render to AVI file. When you click on this, you're asked to put in a name and save it. This will be the name of your AVI file, which is a video. Once you've chosen a name, a box appears that requests more information for your video. The AVI size is important for your video because certain sizes create high definition videos. To change the size, go to the View tab and click on the Screen Size option. To make an HD video, your screen size has to be at least 1080 by 720. This will create a 720 HD video. If your screen size is set to 1920 by 1080, this will create a 1080 HD video. The next option is the Frame Rate FPS box. You can think of Frame Rate as looking at one picture at a time. For example, the FPS is set to 30. This means that you will be seeing 30 pictures in one second. The higher the frame rate, the smoother the video will be, but it also means a much larger video size, and that will take a long time to create. The two boxes next to recording are for the length of your video. To the left of MMD, you see the frame window. That frame window is what tells you the numbers you need to put into these two boxes. A video usually starts at frame 0, so you can put 0 into the first box, or just leave it blank. The number you put into the second box will decide when your video will end. The WAV checkbox is used when you have loaded a WAV file into MMD. A WAV file is a music file that MMD can read, and is loaded by going to the File tab and scrolling down to the Load WAV file option. 3D AVI is for computers with a video card that allows them to create 3D videos. Not all computers have this option, but by checking it, your video will be created in 3D. Finally, the video compressor is the most important part of your video. It will decide the overall quality and size of your video. Essentially, any one of the video compressors in the list will make your video, but certain compressors make your video with good quality and smaller size. I highly recommend installing software called the K-Lite Mega Codec Pack into your computer, with your parents' permission if needed. This software allows MMD to use a compressor called the XVID MPEG4 Codec, which creates high-quality videos that are small in size. I'm going to choose this compressor and walk through the steps of making the best video possible with this codec. Choose the codec and then click on the Settings tab, where it says Profile at level. Select DivX HD 1080. Leave the encoding type the way it is. Click on the button that says Target Quantizer and it will change to Target Bitrate. In the box, input the numbers 15613. That is 15613. Now click on the calc button. Find where it says Format. Click and choose Matroska from the drop down list and click OK. You're done here, so click OK at the bottom right of the settings box. We are now ready to hit OK once more, and create a video. Let's go back to File. The next option is to render to picture file. When you click this, you're asked to name your picture, and the picture taken will be whatever you are looking at in the editing pane of MMD. When you name your picture, MMD saves your picture in bitmap format by default. This format is very large. To change this format, simply add a dot, an extension, to the end of your picture's name. For example, instead of Miku Picture, you would name it MikuPicture.jpg. The JPG extension is the best extension for a good picture that is smaller in size. The next option under the File tab is to load a pose data. Clicking on it will open the file selection box in your MMD folder's pose folder by default. Below the load option is the save option. A pose data is saved by highlighting any or all of the model's bones, and then clicking the save pose data option. This will only save the bones you have highlighted in red on the model. This is a useful option if you have poses that you use often, like having your model's hands in a fist, or having their hands relaxed. 
Once you've chosen the bones that you want to be saved in your post, click on the Save Post Data option and a prompt will ask you to name your post data. Next is the Load Motion Data option, which is the same as loading post data. The difference between pose data and motion data is that pose data only saves one frame with no movement. Motion data saves as many frames as needed, recording all movement. Just below the loading motion data is the saving motion data option. In order to save an entire motion data, you must click on the frame tab, go down and click on where it says select all bone frame, and again where it says select all facial frame. This will highlight the data diamonds in the frame window. Now you can go to the file tab and select the save motion data option. You will be prompted to name your motion data before saving. Now the load wave file option. A wave file is an audio file similar to MP3s, but its format is WAV instead of MP3, because this is the only kind of format MMD will recognize. Loading a wave file causes the sine wave of the music to appear in the white section above the frame window. This is helpful if you're trying to lip sync your model to a specific song or audio clip. The only format that MMD accepts is WAV. It won't accept MP3. The next option is to play wave with frame. What this does is allow you to listen to the audio as you move back and forth in the frames window by using the left or right keys on the keyboard or using the buttons above the audio strip. To stop from hearing the audio, simply choose the option below it that says stop. Exit causes MMD to close unless you have made some kind of change, in which case it will ask you if you really want to quit so you don't lose saved progress. This has been a tutorial that covers the file drop down list in Make a Make a Dance. If you have any further questions pertaining to this tutorial, feel free to ask in the comment section and I will answer you. Please don't ask questions regarding other parts of MMD as I will have other tutorials that cover it now or in the future. Thanks for watching!